Kay Kendall's life and career were characterized by remarkable talent, beauty, and a vivacious spirit that captivated audiences on both sides of the Atlantic. Born in 1926, this British actress emerged as a rising star in the 50s, leaving an indelible mark on cinema. The journey from a young girl exposed to the world of show business through her family to international stardom was a testament to her dedication and innate charm. Tragically, her promising career was cut short by a devastating battle with leukemia. Despite her untimely passing, her legacy as an actress endures. Join Facts First as we present Kay Kendall took her secret to the grave at 32 years old. Early Life Kay Kendall was a British actress known for talent, beauty, and a charismatic screen presence. She was born Justine K. Kendall McCarthy, May 21, 1926, in East Yorkshire. Her early life was marked by both tragedy and artistic influence. Her childhood was shaped by her family's strong ties to the entertainment industry. Her father, Terry Kendall, was a popular vaudevillian performer, and her mother, Gladys Drury, was a former actress. Tragedy struck the family when she was six. Her father died in a tragic accident while performing on stage. Despite the loss, Kay's mother encouraged her to pursue acting, recognizing her daughter's natural talent and passion for the craft. She attended various acting schools, including the prestigious Cohn Ripman School in London. In 1944, at age 18, she made her film debut in the British comedy Dreaming. While this marked the beginning of her acting career, her early roles were relatively small and went largely unnoticed, but her talent and charisma began to shine through. Career Highlights Kendall's breakthrough came with her role in the 1953 film Genevieve, a classic British comedy about a vintage car race from London to Brighton. Her performance as the spirited and fun-loving passenger earned her critical acclaim and made her a star. The film's success helped propel her to international fame, and she soon garnered attention from Hollywood. In the mid-50s, she made her way to Hollywood, where she continued to build her career. She appeared in notable films like The Reluctant Debutante and Les Girls, for which she received a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy. Her performances were praised for their wit, charm, and comedic timing, making her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. What set Kendall apart in her career was her versatility as an actress. She seamlessly transitioned between comedy and drama, demonstrating her range and depth as a performer. Her elegance and style not only made her a fashion icon of her era, but also influenced the fashion trends of the 50s. Kay and Rex Kay Kendall's relationship with actor Rex Harrison was significant. Their love story was not only a central part of her personal life, but also had a profound impact on her career. Kendall and Harrison first met in the early 50s, and the connection was immediate. They fell deeply in love, and the relationship blossomed despite the challenges posed by their respective careers and personal circumstances. At the time, Harrison was still married to his first wife, Lily Palmer, and his relationship with Kendall was kept relatively private due to the social and moral conventions of the era. As their love for each other grew, so did their professional collaboration. They appeared together in several films, most notably The Constant Husband in 1955 and The Reluctant Debutante in 58. Their on-screen chemistry was palpable and added to the charm of the movies they starred in together. Tragically, their relationship faced a heartbreaking hurdle when Kay was diagnosed with leukemia in the late 50s. Throughout her illness, Rex Harris Harrison stood by her side, providing emotional support and care. His dedication to her during this challenging time demonstrated the depth of their love. He even agreed to keep the illness secret for Kay's sake. Regrettably, her battle with leukemia proved insurmountable, and she passed away September 6, 1959, at age 33. Kay's Kendall relationship with Rex remains a poignant and tragic chapter in her life story. Their love story, though marred by circumstances beyond their control, is a testament to the depth of the feelings for each other. Their on-screen chemistry and the enduring impact of their performances together continue to be celebrated by fans of classic cinema forever linking their names in both love and art. Her Secret Illness Kay Kendall's battle with leukemia was a deeply personal and tragic chapter. The actress, who was known for her talent and beauty, was diagnosed with the disease at a time when leukemia was not well understood and treatment options were limited. The diagnosis came as a shock to Kendall and those close to her. She'd been experiencing symptoms like fatigue, weakness, and bruising, but the seriousness of her condition became evident when she was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. At that time, leukemia was very often a fatal disease 
disease and treatments were not as advanced as they are today. Despite the dire prognosis, Kendall faced her illness with remarkable courage and determination. She continued working on films during her treatment, showcasing her commitment to her craft and her desire to live life to the fullest. Her positive attitude and resilience endeared her to her colleagues and fans. During her battle with leukemia, her relationship with Rex Harrison became even more crucial. He provided emotional support and care throughout her illness. Their love was a source of strength for both of them during this challenging time. Her health continued to deteriorate, and she spent her final days in a London hospital. Her condition became increasingly critical, and on September 6, 1959, she passed away, succumbing to the ravages of leukemia. Her death was met with an outpouring of grief and condolences from the entertainment industry and her fans worldwide. The loss of such a talented and vibrant young actress was a profound tragedy, and her memory continues to be cherished by those who admired her work and her strength in the face of adversity. Her battle with leukemia and untimely passing serve as a poignant reminder of the devastating impact of this disease and the importance of continued research and advancements in medical science. Her legacy endures not only through her filmography, but also through the enduring admiration of those who were touched by her talent and spirit. Legacy Despite her tragically short life, she left a mark on the entertainment industry and continues to be celebrated for her contributions to film. She was known for versatility as an actress. She seamlessly transitioned between comedy and drama, captivating audiences with her wit, humor, and the ability to convey a wide range of emotions. Her ability to take on diverse roles showcased her exceptional acting prowess. Her breakthrough role in Genevieve as the spirited and fun-loving passenger in a vintage car race remains one of her most iconic performances. Her comedic timing and effervescent presence endeared her to audiences, making her a beloved figure in British cinema. And her role in Les Girls in 1957, for which she won a Golden Globe, highlighted her ability to shine in the competitive world of Hollywood. Her style and elegance influenced fashion trends, and her name became synonymous with grace and sophistication. Her ability to continue working on films like Once More with Feeling during her illness is an inspiration to aspiring actors facing adversity. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Kay would have gone on to be a much bigger star if she hadn't gotten sick? Let us know in the comments section below.